Okay. Uh, good evening. Welcome back to our channel. This is a very impromptu craft with me vlog. So my daughter just got a Centro knitting machine so she can knit with me. And I had this brilliant idea that I'm going to try and make a lazy muscle burra out of this machine. So the plan is to crank a very, very long tube and then, as my husband says, yoink one end close, yoink the other one close, and stuff it together and see if it turns into a muscle burr. So we'll see how that goes. I am using this light and long tweed. Let me grab the label. Whoops. I am using this light and long tweed DK. It's a fashion cotton. It's 47% cotton, 43% acrylic, and 3% viscose from Universal Yarn. Um, it's this pink color, and I'm going to do it on my daughter's Centro knitting machine. This is the 40 pin one. We just got it this afternoon when I got home from work at like 4.30. So it's currently 8 o'clock at night. We ate dinner, so I've had approximately two hours worth of experience on this machine. So let's see if this works. Oh, here's said daughter. <music> cups are kind of useless. They don't really stick down very much at all. So that means they slippity slide as you're going. So tomorrow, my father-in-law says he's going to um, get a piece of plywood and we're going to mount the machine to the piece of plywood. So then we can mount um, we can stick it to plywood and then we can plant the plywood to whatever the surface is because Lottie was having trouble um, with it. Like if there gets to be a tight spot, she'd push against the machine and then the machine would slip and then the tension would get fine. Um, additionally, another drawback to this machine is it's very bunchy, like the uh, knit fabric is very bunchy. So you can't tell the length of it. Like, um, I have a circular sock knitting machine from Pearlbacher Gearhart, and when you use one of those, you there's weights on the end of your knitting. So you, it's weighted. So then you can kind of tell how long your piece of knitting is behind, and you can have kind of an idea. With this, it's not weighted. I'm on top of a table, so there isn't a place for gravity to dangle with it, which means it's not, um, I have no idea how long this piece is. Another drawback I'd say is you can tell, you can see I'm tensioning the yarn. Um, it has a little tension gauge on it, but I'd say it's not that great. It's pretty inconsistent, so you kind of, you'll need to tension the yarn as you go. However, oops, see, it just slipped on me. My Erlbach is your heart, which I love. Her name is Geraldine. Um, it was over $2,000. Oh, let's see, it's slipping, it keeps slipping on me. It was over $2,000. Um, and it's definitely worth that much. It's, I think it's hand machined. It's super long lasting because it's all metal, right? Um, so it got out of a lot of people's price points. And it was out of our price point actually for a very long time. And I ended up with it, uh, after a lot of this worn about maybe like nine or 10 months after Lottie was born because I was really, really having a hard time uh, with the pandemic and breastfeeding and my postpartum depression. So my husband bought it as like kind of an attempt, which mostly worked. Um, so he put in breastfeeding, but so 
this was like $35. So obviously a huge price point difference, but so far it's enjoyable. It's a little bit slower than Geraldine, but it's plastic here, it's not metal. And um, yeah, so I think for $35 for someone, if you're wanting to try it out, you wanna knit hats fast, you want to, you have a, you have a child in your life who wants to um, knit, but isn't there with their dexterity yet, or maybe I think it, see i'm this is it's wiggling everywhere it's suction kept down but it's a little balloon or maybe if you're a knitter or crocheter who um you have arthritis or something and it's hard to do the kind of fine stitches that you have to or the fine motor movements you have to do with knitting then this is a great way to keep going with it um also i saw some YouTubers, I watched some YouTubers that um, I believe one of them, his um, daughter is has a disability uh, where she isn't able to do the fine motor skills that are required for knitting and crochet. So, but she is able to do this. So, I, so it is a full way for her to also knit in a different way that makes it accessible for her. So this is definitely cool. I don't see it replacing my knitting, but it's definitely fun. I mean, let's see. I've been cranking on this for maybe it's probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So it's like a hat in 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm making a muscle burr. And there ain't no way you're ever going to knit a muscle burr in 10 or 15 minutes by hand. I don't even think I can get through the increases on the muscle burr by hand. I have, there's a little counter on this, which is nice. Um, my uh, Earl Barker's gear part also has a counter on it. I've just hit 100 rows. Um, so, and I'm not, I've got a lot in this ball somewhere. So that's kind of where we are. I'm also procrastinating because I'm working on a secret sock design that I don't really want to film the tutorials for. Um, so I'm doing this instead. I am working on the magic knot ball that I'm working on with me and my sister. That's what you can see in the background. If you can see that product bag that's, that keeps splashing as my arm moves that's the project bag with it in it okay i've taken the tube off of the thing and it comes with this gigantic plastic needle which actually is decently helpful so i'm pulling it tight for one end of my muscle burra here's the whole thing which does not look nearly long enough to be a muscle burra but we'll see Hold it tight. I'm gonna jam this in this way. Let's see. Looks like it's wide enough to be a top. <laughs> um, I don't really know how I'm gonna finish the ends yet, so I'm gonna jam this one. I'm going to attempt to weave this side in, but I do like how the, this gradient is turning out. This is like a monstrosity of a needle. So we're gonna tie a couple knots in it so I can, so it'll stay. I do like this yarn. It's a really pretty gradient. I've had it. It is from a influencer box that we got from Universal Yarn. We are Universal Yarn affiliates, so if you are interested, you can use our link below and with what is it? A no extra cost to you and a little bit of a kickback to us. You can try out their yarn. Um, we've used Universal Yarn in a couple of our designs. I really like it. It's really affordable. Um, I've got really pretty stuff. Ours was mostly pink stuff in the box because, of course, we love pink and purple. So it's kind of our signature. All right, so I think I'm going to leave this tail long and now I'm going to stretch it out see if it evens itself oh whoa oh, oh it's good look babe you're not looking at me okay so it's gotten the tubiness of a muscle burr that usually comes with it it totally got way longer now 
for my next trick. I have to find this end, which kind of disappeared when I was cranking it. So that's not great. There's a teeny tiny little end, and if I had been paying attention, I would have put a clip or a stitch mark on it. Oh, I found it, I found it. See, it's really tiny. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this buddy and pull this buddy tight as well. You kind of, when you do it, you gotta be careful that it doesn't like get bunchy and roll up on itself. So you kinda, you got it going. Because it likes to roll upwards. I discovered this, we've made a total of, this is my second hat with it, the first one Lottie did, and then I ended up knitting a, like with my straight knitting needles, um, I ended up knitting a cuff to it because I didn't like how it rolled up. I watched a YouTube video by uh, Mixed Domestic where they were using it and they just kind of let theirs roll up, but I don't know. I don't really like that rolled up look on hats. It seems a little bit, um, I don't know, it just makes it seem like unfinished to me, I guess. Okay, so I've got the tube, the muscle burra situation, put the needle down. I'm going to leave this end out for a second while I test it. Let's take out the hair to see how it's going to look. Because I think I'm going to stitch them together, like the two ends. I always consider doing that on a muscle burra because not everyone understands how the hat works or knows how the hat works. And then if it comes out, then you're like, shoot, what happened to my hat? Now I've got this like slug thing instead of a hat. And nobody wants a slug thing instead of a hat. Um, so yes. Okay. I've got them. I've got the ends paired up like this. This is kind of biggish. It might be too bulky. All right. So we flipped it like you would for a muscle burra. I, my top end is still open. That's why it keeps gapping open. Um, let's cuff it. I think I totally did this. I think this totally worked out. Bam! Okay, hats aren't that cute on me, but <laughs> I did it. It is a lazy muscle burr. And if you're like, that's not that cute, Gab, that's me. That's me not being that cute with hats. My sister, my daughters, and my husband have much cuter hat heads than I do, but it totally worked out. This was a, babe, look. He went like this to me. So I'm sure that means it looks great, right? He's working out right now. He's not amused with me YouTubing. That's what she, if you hear like lots of footsteps, that's what he's doing. I totally did it. This totally worked out. I love it. It's actually really comfy and cozy. I was gonna donate this, but this might be mine. All right this worked so um yeah I would recommend making if you have one of these making lots of hats like this because it looks pretty professional yeah this is fly okay thanks for joining me on my impromptu lazy muscle burrow vlog I'm gonna stitch this together now okay it's raining so I can't do my morning check-in however after making my center after making this hat and thinking I was a genius and my husband was a genius I googled a hat patterns but that you can make on your Centro knitting machine and all of them tell you to make it the way I just made it so if you need a tutorial that's better than mine just google um or search it up on YouTube so I did not create anything unique however I felt like a genius when I thought of it myself but it's obviously all over YouTube but what is it, Shakespeare? There's nothing new under the sun? Anyway, that was my, felt I should do a disclaimer that I do realize there are, there are very similar patterns out there. So yes, I still love it. I'm still probably gonna make it. Anyway, talk to you later.